everybody. Today we've got our first deck that we're going to be playing using Batman Who Laughs. Um, wouldn't really say any of this is anywhere close to refined. I really just want to try it in a bunch of different general shells and see which one I want to drill more into. Uh, so we're starting off with Wonder Woman. Just playing, you know, some beefy stuff. Um, and then a little bit of go wide stuff with like Sending the Clowns. I'm also trying to test out Gentleman Ghosts because I think him with like a super strength or just a couple Wonder Woman buffs, if you can keep him out of the range of the Batarangs, can be very, very strong. One copy of Down But Not Out to hopefully help with our trades. And we got a bunch of just solid mid-range threats in the mid-game. Curving into our late game of Truth and Justice, Doomsday, Deathstroke, Carapax, and Superman. We also have one copy of 10th Metal to try and high roll one of those guys out early. Especially something like a Carapax, if we can get that out early. Uh, the value with this deck can really go up. Um, I, I think Batman Who Laughs has been an interesting puzzle for me. Um, I don't think he's an aggro leader, although I'm playing with Wonder Woman who can be a little bit more aggressive. But I'm kind of going for an aggressive mid-range list here. I have a Lex Luthor list put together with Batman Who Laughs that is kind of all token-y. Um, Gotham Riots, uh, Sending the Clowns, all of that stuff. Um, so we're trying that out. Actually, I don't think this is that bad of a hand. Um, yeah, just a bunch of different directions that we want to test out Batman Who Laughs, as well as the rest of the October cards. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that, because I definitely am. Uh, let's start with Trick or Treat. We'll see if they want to give us more cards, or if they want to deal some damage to themselves. I assume they're going to be testing out the new Morgan Le Fay. They'll deal some damage to us every time they cast a magical spell. They are going to take the damage. They don't want to give us cards. Skeets is very good there. Let's go for Minotaur into Gentleman Ghost. Next turn, I can try and Parasite to clean up whatever they're doing here. They're going to draw two cards this turn, which is very strong, obviously. And then they can um, play Ivy and use Skeets to draw another card. Which, if the only gold in their deck is Morgan, so they'll guarantee get that, which is obviously very good for them. There is a world where I trade this guy in to try and get more clowns. I don't think so, though. Yeah, they're definitely going for that OTK with that, that card. Pyromancy is a good card. All right, so that opens up the clowns. Okay, so what do I go for here? Do I ever go for a Parasite here? I think maybe at some point, but not initially. I think what we do here is... Very torn. Let's make that trade. Let's send in some clowns. Let's activate Wonder Woman. Hit that. Hit that. Then let's play Parasite. And then we hit those. And now I'm kind of out of juice already. We gotta hope we start curving into some good cards here. I didn't really run a lot of draw on the deck. Maybe that was a big mistake. We can activate Batman Who Laughs next turn. How good that is, I don't really know. But we at least have Crypto to defend, like, if we put the ability on Parasite. 
We could be fishing for a polymorph or something here. I am very scared of their Morgan, though. Seven right here. <laughs> Calling? I don't know, that guarantees I have board space. Doesn't help me until next turn. Let's give that shield. Let's hit that once. Let's see if I get the trade. Okay. Now, if they don't remove Parasite here, I guess maybe there's an argument to using Robin to try and make sure Parasite survives. But if they don't remove Parasite, Truth and Justice is incredible next turn. Okay. You know, that is what it is. Hopefully, uh, next turn we can draw a good recruit. Although I feel like I'm just going to die next turn. Couldn't really get enough pressure to kill them before Morgan comes down. But we'll see. Might need to be careful with like not using my Wonder Woman to take too much damage here. That's a very bad top deck. A top deck, like, the one of conditional card in my deck. I didn't bother using Truth and Justice because it didn't get me a kill on Zatanna here, so I didn't bother. Very unlucky top deck. So the situation you kind of get into yourself into here is like, is anything I'm doing right now better than if I was just playing Harley? And in general, I don't think so, but also I realize that I'm not necessarily getting the right hits to say that for sure. Send the clowns here would be awesome. Honestly, Grundy's decent as well, though. Would I ever just wait for my Robin? I don't think so. I really feel like I'm just going to be dead. I had no way to kill Nick Necro. But I feel like it's going to be Morgan into attempted spell chain. And even like this sh down but not out wouldn't help me. Because if I shield my leaders, uh, Morgan's ability is just... Minus two health, it doesn't actually deal damage. Although they also could just be setting up Giovanni. Time to start branching out. Yeah. 
Alright, he's gonna pop the shield. Does he trade with Nick? I just feel like Giovanni or Morgan's coming down and we're just gonna get absolutely destroyed. Helmet of Fate? Absolutely. Okay. What do I kill here first? This definitely happens. This happens. This happens. That happens. We play this. Get that on him. Take that out. Remove the RNG from the equation so that she is the only available option. Now the shield at least means we should be able to survive one Giovanni Smoke and Mirrors. Could we kill them the following turn? I also don't think so. But if the answer is Giovanni Smoke and Mirrors, unless they have a handful of free spells, I think they, their counter should be at nine. So they would need to deal a whole bunch. But if they have Morgan, they can just kill me through the shield like I mentioned. Cryokinesis is really freaking good. Guess we'll just play this to try and protect our recruits, and then we see what happens. That Truth and Justice top deck would have actually probably been game-winning if they didn't have Cryokinesis. Start branching out. Yeah, pretty sure that's game two. If they didn't have Cryokinesis, I think we won that turn. Or at least pretty close to it. But yeah, I think that's going to be game. Dude, a cool card, but not going to get us out of this one. Let's go get another one. They did generate enough spells where, like, it's not... They're like, oh, they got incredibly lucky drawing Cryokinesis. Like, each draw is, like, a 1 in 7, but they, it's reasonable they generated so many spells. Just unfortunate that they had it, because I think we won otherwise. But let's go get another game. Let's see what we match up with here. Superman, Batman. Definitely like Captain Cold against these guys. Start with the Minotaur. They'll be on one charge. Next turn will probably be Mr. Freeze plus Trick or Treat. They're just going to collect some gadgets. Damn, just straight up went for tear gas. Can't say I blame them though. Let's hit that. Let's Mr. Freeze on Mr. Batman. 
And then we'll just play Trick or Treat. Next turn might be Captain Cold plus Crypto on Captain Cold. Because they shouldn't have a lot of great ways to kill Captain Cold. They're going to take the damage. It's good to see you. Okay. I mean, that's unfortunate, but like, still mostly fine. Let's get a little poke. Let's hit that. Let's play Captain Cold. Follow it up with a good old crypto. And end the turn. So that should make their turn more awkward. They do have at least one more gadget, I think. Oh no, they've played two. Yeah, no, they have two gadgets. They, they can fish for a gadget here for sure. We have a slim chance of killing Batman next turn. Okay. Um, let's poke that. Poke that. Activate. That on him. Trade into that. Let's see if we can hit two fifty fifties. We cannot, but still in a pretty decent position. Captain Cold is still activated. He's a little risky putting the flurry and chaotic on Captain Cold, but worst case scenario, just won't swing if I don't have to. I mean, this Captain Cold's already blocked Superman for two turns. Got him to waste two Batmans just grabbing gadgets. Although now he can kill that because he grabbed the gadgets, but... That was a lot for that, though. Okay. All of that is pretty good. Um, let's get that hit. I think I'm going to start with just Doomsday Recruit for now. Because obviously he's a massive threat. And Superman can't easily get to him. Crypto, I mean, obviously Crypto is super weak, but he's got shield. And this might also bait out some removal, which will then make Superman Recruit much safer to play. And I could always play Superman Recruit next turn if I have to. Let's just answer that. Peel that off. Hit face. And play the Superman recruit. Now he might have hard removal. But Doomsday is still a must answer. And like Superman recruit is still on the board. 
being very strong. Both of these guys can be activated next turn, for better or for worse, whatever that gets me. Alright, we're gonna get a retreat. Alright, that worked out very well that time, but that was mostly getting carried by Captain Cold. Uh, let's go get one more game. We've got Ivy and Zatanna here. Put back Parasite. Trick or Treat's not that great. Or not that great here. It's not what we want to be doing. Let's try and rush Zatanna. I'm going to actually hold off on my Wonder Woman swing because I want to use it to kill Ivy, the plants. Take that trade. Next turn, I assume Wonder Woman will be trading into Ivy Plant. This is not easy. I wish that damage went into Zatanna instead. I've got a lot more than rabbits in this that sucks. Hopefully they can't do it again. Time to start branching out. I'm in one of these guys. Let's give the... I guess it's a debuff to this fellow right here. And I will go for Hippolyta. And I'll do for this. We'll hit that. We'll hit that. All things considered, that's considered. That is not too bad. We'll see if they're packing like a random earthquake or something. <laughs> Double Mercy Graves is really bad. Although that's not the worst thing ever right there. Actually, I'm going to go for Antiope over Captain Cold because she resists spells. I've got a lot more than rabbits in this place. Time to start branching out. You know that's coming. We will block that. Not the YOLO they were hoping for. Do I just kill Zatanna here? I'd have to send everything in. I do want to get Carapax out, for sure. I 
think killing Zatanna is worth it. I think the way we do it is... Like this. Oh wait, I forgot to kill that! No! I screwed that up real bad. I was supposed to use Sending the Clowns, but I got baited by Parasite being cool. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I've been trying to record and it's just been Batman, 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 Batman. And those games are so boring. Oh, look, we got the win though. Misplayed did not come back to bite me. Alright guys, well, uh, that's gonna be it for this first iteration of a, um, Batman Who Laughs deck. I have a couple other that we're gonna go over, we're gonna play the spells deck, we have a whole lot of stuff we're gonna play. I got a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for now, hope you all enjoyed, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!